So welcome to a simulation program that we've set up. Um, what we're going to do is use the Modbus Master, which is a Cymex CMC99. And together with that, we have uh, four sensors, four banner M12 FTH 3Q temperature and relative humidity sensors uh, working as slave devices. The Modbus Pulse Slave software, which you see on the left, is um, the simulation package. We'll use this to simulate the sensors. Uh, in the middle we have the uh, Cymex CMC99 and the layer is slightly different to the original uh, package that we've ed I've edited for simplicity's sake. And we have a calculator that we're going to use for um, calculating the values. So relative humidity, if we read the holding registers, which is on holding register 0, it will be a value of 0 to 10,000. And the temperature sensors, uh, direct reading from the holding register will be from minus 32768 to a positive value of 32767, that's the full range. And temperature we divide by 20 to establish the uh, correct temperature in degrees Celsius. So on the left hand side, as you can see, we, uh, we've got zeros here, but we are not connected. Therefore, we've got error values displayed on each of the um, uh, sensor so humidity 3 and 4 there and if we go back again you'll see 1 and 2 there we go there's 1 and there's 2 and then obviously we've just got the set points that were there already anyway I didn't edit that part of the software it's just a layout slightly different so what the first thing we need to do is set up the communication port so we'll go to the Modbus slave package we'll click on connection and we'll click connect uh, because I've got the uh, banner um, Modbus interface uh, to the USB port we need to confirm the USB port which is on port 5 that's all good the board rate we're gonna confirm this with the Cymex so if we go into device configurations we scroll down to Modbus we'll check that the board rate is 19,200 same as what we have here 8 data bits there we go no parity and one stop bit which is all correct um, let's make sure that the mode is RTU and then the flow control is only for RS-232, so we're not really using this. And Modbus TCP, we don't use that either. So we can connect now. Um, just going back to the main display. So in theory, we should have zeros. These zeros should be transferred onto sensor 1. So if we go to setup and we define the slave, slave address 1, which is the first uh, sensor. And we're reading holding registers. So over here, I'll actually just change that to 3 because I have no need to run uh, more than uh, three holding registers. We actually need zero and one, really. Um, only those two are important. So as you can see, that zero is being transferred onto there. So if I were to simulate 50% uh, relative humidity, which is a value of 5,000, because I divide by 100, as soon as I put 5,000, I'll see 50% in the CMC uh, display. So let's simulate uh, 10,000, which is 100% relative humidity. And there we go, it's uh, coming through correctly. So if we go to temperature, which is holding register 1, and if I type in a value of 520, uh, we should get value of about 26 degrees. There we go. Um, to double check that value, uh, 520 divided by 20 is 26, and that's the temperature. If we wanted to simulate, for example, a temperature of 45 degrees, I'll multiply by 20, gives me a hex value of 900, or a decimal value of 900. So if I click on there, on the Modbus poll type in 900, and send it through, we should see 45 degrees there. There we go. So that's all working. So now we need to go to sensor 2. So I just go to setup, slave definition. So we go to address 2 on the holding registers so this will show error because now we've got no comms here and um, slave device 2 is active so once again to double check the value uh, so we'll do 20% relative humidity and there we go it's come through and we'll do 526 as a random value and we've got 26.3 degrees so that's pretty close once again now we need to test um, uh, sensor 3 or the slave device number 3 which is showing error so as soon as I change the setup on the slot uh, mod by slave uh, software go to address 3 and there we go the values have been transferred here so once again we'll simulate 
40% um, relative humidity, value of 4000, and there we can give it 555 on temperature and it's 27.8 degrees. So that is all coming through and it's correct. And then the last one we need to do is uh, slave device 4. So we select 4 and immediately this will go to error, the values get transferred here. Once again I'll simulate so just to verify that I'm getting my relative humidity coming through 80% and we'll give it a value of 500 and the value should be transferred here 25 degrees. So it will appear that it's all working correctly. Um, just to go back to groups and if you want to see the uh, more familiar layout there's a humidity for is 80% so if I want to change that to 25% relative humidity it's there and we can go to group 2 and there's 25 degrees and we'll change that to 600 and that's 30 and to do a last test back to slave 1 and it should come up here there we go 30 and 25% relative humidity 100% sorry 1% there we go so it's all working I hope this helps you and um, we can sort it out Thank you.